Welcome to the wonderful world of chemistry. Today, with the help of the Egyptian night set by Mel Chemistry, we will obtain a solution which suddenly changes its color. Perform this experiment on the plastic tray to contain any possible spills. Don't forget to put on protective gloves and goggles before doing the experiment. To open a bottle containing a reagent, push the cap down and turn it. Pierce the bottle nozzle with an unbent paper clip. For the Egyptian night experiment, you will need some starch and solutions of sodium hydrogen sulfate, sodium thiosulfate, potassium iodide, and hydrogen peroxide. Take a double-ended measuring spoon, a wooden stick, and a syringe from the experiment set. Take a disposable cup, a flask, the beaker from the starter kit. Also, prepare some cold water and boiling water in advance. First, prepare a starch solution. This will act as an iodine indicator. Measure one big spoonful of starch into a plastic cup. Fill the cup halfway with boiling water. Mix for two minutes using a wooden stick. Transfer five milliliters of the starch solution to the beaker using a syringe. Fill the beaker with cold water up to the 75 milliliter mark. Now, add a substance containing iodide ions, potassium iodide, and a reductant, sodium thiosulfate. Add five drops of sodium thiosulfate solution to the beaker. Add two big spoonfuls of potassium iodide solution. Prepare the second solution containing the oxidant, hydrogen peroxide. Take the flask, measure 10 drops of sodium hydrogen sulfate solution. Add the bottle of hydrogen peroxide solution. Both of the solutions are colorless. Mix them. Take a wooden stick. Quickly pour the solution from the flask into the beaker. Mix the solution with the wooden stick and watch closely. Hydrogen peroxide oxidizes iodide ions into molecular iodine. Iodine could potentially form a dark blue complex with the starch molecules present in the solution. But sodium thiosulfate reduces iodine back to iodide immediately. The latter reaction is much faster than that between starch and iodine. So, only when all the sodium thiosulfate runs out does the dark blue iodide starch complex form. Learn more about this experiment on our Mel Science website.